Hello everybody, back in Saul here for another Minecraft snapshot video. Today we're in 15W41B, the uh, latest snapshot as of me recording this. And let's jump right in. New boats. Ah uh, yeah. So, uh, Mojang has finally done what they said they were going to do forever. And, um, forever? What, what they've said they're going to do forever is what I meant to say. Uh, um, and they've overhauled the boats. Uh, if you're familiar with Minecraft Pocket Edition, uh, you're familiar with these boats. But, um, yeah. So now these are the new boats with oars on them. And, uh, this is as far as I can turn. I, I'm moving my mouse to the left more, and I can't move further left. And the same to the right. You're kind of stuck with a 180 view here. 180 degrees. And the controls for these new boats are really weird. So I'm hitting left, and I'm turning to the right. That's because I'm controlling the left oar with left. And if I hit right, I'm controlling the right oar. And if I hit both, I move forward. And yeah, there, there's a new thing there. You hit lily pads, your boats don't break. Uh, let's ram it into a wall over here. And they don't break. Great. Unbreakable boats. Um... They seem to be a bit leaky, though. <laughs> There's a bit of water in them. So the water does still render over the boats. But I'm sure that'll be fixed. Right, Mo Yang? Um, so yeah, as you can see here, there are boats for all the different types of wood. What isn't there? There's one missing. Spruce? Spruce is over there. Uh, anyway, let's look at the boats. So we have oak boat, spruce boat, birch boat, Jungle boat, acacia boat, and dark oak boat. So all the different types of wood are represented there. However, as of this snapshot, if you uh, pick block, you only get an oak boat. So they're not fully implemented yet. Uh, and here's the crafting recipe. It's the planks, like for the old boat, but with a shovel in the middle, representing the ore. And uh, so far, the crafting recipe only works for oak boats, which is, I guess, why a pick block gives you oak boats. But uh, you still can't actually craft the different color ones, uh, but you will be able to in the future. Uh, what else is new? You can transport entities in the boats. Yeah, <laughs> that's been showing the whole video, but here we go. Uh, you can't stand on top of these new boats. They kind of push you off. Yep. I was pushing no directional inputs there. Um, speaking of directional inputs, if you, uh, let's drive the boat over here, so as to demonstrate a thing. Let's say I'm spinning, spinning to the right here, and then I exit the boat. Hello. Exit, there we go. Oh, does that not work? It? <laughs> I was doing it. Um, well, let's do this. Okay, maybe it doesn't work if you're alone in the boat. I was in the boat with the zombie pigman here. And say so spin, spin, spin. And the boat keeps spinning. So if you exit while you have uh, an input pressed, that input stays stuck, I guess. If there's an entity in the boat, the entity will keep doing that input, maybe? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, there's something a little wonky there. Let's try it with the creeper here. Let's go left. Well, pressing left. And same thing happens. So I guess it is if there's an entity in the boat with you. <laughs> Another funny thing is if you spawn a boat underwater, it stays underwater. <laughs> they don't float to the top like older boats. Whoa, that one's actually sinking. Hey, okay. See ya. Rip boat. Great. So, uh, that's, I think that's it for boats. Um, one other big addition to this, uh, in the snapshot. If you look at my back there. Oh, baby. What is that? Well, it's a glider. Oh, so good. Um, they're called, uh, can I go here? They're called Elytras. Or Elytra, I guess is the plural. And Elytrum is, uh, would be singular. And that word actually comes from the, the hardened shells 
the, the wing shells from beetles, the elytra. Uh, so now we have little wing thingies, which you don't actually fly, they're gliders. You can't actually fly up, you lose momentum and your character starts flapping their arms and legs. But, uh, yeah. So you, you drop, and you can fly. Uh, if you've looked closely at mine here, you see I've enchanted mine. Uh, so this one's actually, I spawned it in with a command that has protection 10 and unbreaking 255. Uh, the only, I don't think protection will actually do anything, because the only enchantment that you seem to be able to get on there legally is unbreaking. And, uh, it does use durability if you use it in survival mode. And if you, uh, if it breaks in midair, rip you. You actually will just fall. It doesn't actually break though, so you can you can repair it. Um, it repairs with uh, with leather in an anvil. You repair it with leather in an anvil, and uh, yeah, you can just use it over and over, I guess, because it doesn't actually break. But uh, where do you find these things? Well, you actually find them right here in the end ships, and look at this terrible frame rate in the end. Rip. Me. <laughs> Be gone to the, the ships here at the, in the end, the new dungeon in the end, and right there, on the wall, behind this shulker, uh, you'll find, you'll find the thingies. Whoop. Do they actually drop in creative? I don't think they actually drop in creative. But, yeah. The Elytra, that's where you find them. Uh, let's take a peek in here. Well, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's take a peek in here. Oh wow, that... Yep. Uh, oh man, sharpness 5. Okay. The, the loot in these things is still pretty redonk. But, uh, yeah. This is where you find the Elytra. And, uh, this seems to be the only way you can get them, because there's no crafting recipe for them yet. So, hooray. So that about does it for, uh, for everything in this snapshot. Uh, really cool addition of the Elytra, I think. Personally, so far, I'm not a big fan of controlling the boats. But I don't use boats much in Minecraft anyway. So it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> uh, but yeah. So that's going to do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.